What's up guys, this is Drossman, and today I am showing you how to uh, put uh, Buildcraft on a server and also your client. Now, I've already done this guide, but a lot of people, they couldn't understand it just because, first off, the mic quality was not very good at all, and the video quality wasn't very good. Uh, this time I'm using a better recorder, it's Camtasia, like you can see right there. Uh, and I'm also using a different mic, and I mentioned this in my Buildcraft guide that I did uh, before this video. So, what you're going to do to start off, uh, I'm just going to download everything first and put it on my desktop to make it all easier for later. So, first you're going to go and download the Minecraft server jar. So, let, I have it all on a notepad. I'll probably provide, I will provide links in the description. So, copy that and go there download this and I'll put it on my desktop for now and then we'll go download this I actually uploaded this to MediaFire myself uh, so you don't have to go and download each individual file because it takes a long time because they're all like add.fly videos or, or links um, so we can drag that onto my desktop as well and we will drag this one this one is for too many items uh, just to be able to spawn things Let's drag that onto there okay so we have all of those downloaded uh, we connect out of the internet I'll keep that open uh, so now we're going to set it up for the server and then I'll get to setting it up for the client uh, afterwards so let's make a folder with or to put the minecraft server in let's just name it minecraft server buildcraft 1.8.1 and we'll drag the minecraft server jar into there also you, you have to make sure that you have uh, environmental variables and like Java JDK I think it is uh, downloaded and installed uh, or else you won't be able to run a jar file I believe this only works with Windows but if it works with Mac I I'm, I hope it does and uh, if it doesn't uh, I'm sorry Mac users so uh, what you're gonna do you're going to run the Minecraft server jar Double click it, wait for it to load. You don't have to wait for it to load, it's just making the world right now. See, you can see all the files are here. But I'll let it do it anyways. Almost there. And after this is done, I'll type in stop and enter. Let that save. And the reason you type in stop because if you just exit out, then sometimes it runs in the background, and then when you try to start it again, it'll say that another server is already running, and you have to open up Task Manager. Okay, I'm not going to show you how to set up this server because most people already know how to set up a server, and if you don't, just go look it up. It's really not too difficult. Uh, most of it's just port forwarding and Windows Firewall setup and that's mostly why people have problems with it so you have that there um, there's two ways you can do this I believe I haven't tried it one of the ways um, but let's open up the buildcraft server mod files RAR that I provided and open up the server one and open up the server file and here are all the things you need for the server uh, so you gotta right click on the minecraft server jar and open it with winrar that's why you have to use the jar because you can't open exes with winrar so let's open that and you'll see it's kind of similar to the minecraft jar uh, thing in your bin folder for your normal minecraft client but what you have to do is open up all of these and drag the files that are within it into the jar uh, I think you can just put this in here and then drag all these RAR files into the mod folder that it creates when you start the server after adding mod loader mp but I'm just gonna drag all these into here 
So drag that one in. Actually, I'll drag uh, the mod loader MP in first just because uh, the other ones require it and I don't think it makes a difference because we're adding them all in the same thing. Uh, highlight all of these and then make sure you get rid of the .txt files. Anything that's not a class or uh, a file, you have to make sure you hit control, like hold control and then click on the uh, file that you want to get that you want to stop selecting and it'll deselect it. So drag those into there and we'll start with the core drag that in there and drag the next one into here. Um, there is for the 1.8.1 uh, .1, uh, there's only four of these but on the newer version the 2.2.1 buildcraft version I think it's for 1.9 pre-release uh, close 1.9 pre-release is for 2.2.1 so it I don't use pre-releases very often because they are buggy so I just wait for the actual thing to come out so you have all of those dragged in there now you're gonna have to a lot of people think that you delete meta inf because you do that when you're adding mods to a normal minecraft client but you don't delete meta inf make sure you don't delete it or else it will not work so we can exit out of that and we'll run the server.jar and as you can see it says mod loader server beta so it says mod loader and then mod loaded mod loaded mod loaded and mod loaded so all the mods are loaded correctly, but the only way you can log into your own server or for other people to log into your server is to set it up in your client. Now, a lot of guides are already out there for this part as well. So see here the mod folder is created. I'm not sure if you can drag the mods into there. So you can exit out of that. And now you're going to go to your bin folder. The easiest way to get there is go to the start menu. And if you're on uh, XP, just go to run and type in percent app data. You can do that uh, on the start menu and it'll show roaming. You click that and double click the Minecraft dot Minecraft folder and go to the bin. A lot of people already know this. And then right click on Minecraft jar. And I just remembered I already have uh, the mod loaded on here, but I will uh, I will re download the Minecraft thing real quick. So force update and it will set it all back to regular minecraft okay so that's set now go back to your bin folder i have it as a shortcut down here from right clicking this okay so you're going to right click on your minecraft jar and open it with a winrar archiver like a normal mod uh, adding and you're going to go to your buildcraft server mod files uh, and go to the client one open that up and there's a lot more in here but you only need to add three of them so you're gonna add you're gonna be adding mod loader MP the MP part is for using mods that are on a server so this is only if you're going to be using a server but you can add it anyways even if you're not using a server so let's drag these into here let's start with mod loader because everything relies on mod loader. Let's add mod loader MP. And let's add Minecraft Forge. Get rid of this text file by holding control. And now, uh, instead of dragging all these ones into it, we can X out of that and run Minecraft. And if you look at your .minecraft folder, uh, when you run it, it'll uh, start to make this mod folder. Uh, but it's already in there. I'll get rid of this too. A second. Okay. So you run it. And now it should create a mod folder. You might have to log in. So after it's created the mod folder and your .minecraft folder, you're gonna open up the mod folder and drag 
all of these build the craft things into there. And now you should be able to run Minecraft and it should work. Wait for it. Log in. Okay, well I obviously did something wrong, but I'm not sure exactly what I did. So I'll try to figure that out real quick. Okay, I figured out what I did wrong. I forgot to delete the meta inf folder, so don't forget to do that. Uh, you So open up your minecraft.jar again if you didn't delete the meta inf folder. If you did, then you know what you're doing. I just forgot about it. Just slipped my mind. So make sure you delete the meta inf folder only in the minecraft.jar, but not the server one. So now it should work. Wait that, for that to load. Okay, now it works. So let's just start a world real quick, make sure it's all on there. And I don't have too many items on, but it works and most likely the mod works. So I'll add too many items real quick. Doesn't take too long. Open with. So if you want, you can add too many items. I'll provide a link to it, but not. I probably will just provide a link to the forum. Put that in there. Okay, let's run it. And just to make sure it did work. Everything's working. Yep, so here it is. All the uh, items for BuildCraft are here. So now we're going to make sure it works on the server. So let's open up the server folder that you made. Uh, and you're going to run it, but make sure you have the server property set up. Just put your local IP address, 192. 168.1.2 I think that is yeah it's 2 ok uh, that's really all I need to do save that and run the server um, right start the task manager Nothing else is running. I don't understand. Just a sec. I'm having difficulties. Probably something stupid. Oh well. Uh, it should work anyways. I don't... It says it's failed to bind the port, but I think it should still work. Don't you just love it when things fail during the video? Oh, alright. I know what I did wrong. Um, good thing I caught that. I've done a couple things wrong so far. Uh, 1.2. There we go. Okay, now it should work. Alright. It's all prepared. Direct connect. 192.168.1.2 and as you can see the server loaded up just fine it's uh, lagging a bit I don't know why Camtasia makes me lag more than Fraps but whatever uh, here's too many items um, looks like all the items are here uh, well, I'm missing a few items I think but I'm not sure which items I'm missing because uh, there's only four pages, but it seems to be working properly. I can load stone pipes in. Oh, right, I'm not an OP. More things wrong. OP dude, awesome man. Now I can load things. See, stone pipes work, and I can place them. 
So the server mod is properly working, and I hope uh, this guide helped you out. Uh, I did a remake just because people were complaining about the quality of the video, and I know it was bad, but I did it quickly. Um, so, yeah, that's all I have to do in the video, and I hope you push that like button, you know, comment if you have any problems, and I'll try to help you out, because I've helped basically everybody out that I can in the other video, and I've left a lot of comments on that one. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.